Scooby Addict, what's with the monotone staccato speaking voice? Like a heavily medicated mental patient. That's exactly what I was going for, thank you. You don't sound like you say very much money. Why is that anybody's business? The dude from Scooby-Doo and Cameron 2 looks like he's hurting when he laughs. I can assure you I'm not hurting. I feel good inside, but <laughs> I, I guess I do look like I'm hurting. Thank you. Ask me if I give a fuck about her stupid fucking record. Who cares about that fucking piece of shit record? I own the record for taking the biggest shit last night. Do you see me submitting it to the Guinness Book of World Records? I'm kind of just worried about this person. I hope they're okay. Because <laughs> apparently they have trouble in the bathroom. Is your tattoo supposed to look like a penis? Yes, Brad. One of the most meaningful tattoos that I have on my body, as well as one of the most recognizable cartoon characters in history, is supposed to look like a penis. Thank you for noticing. Random classmate. You like that crap? Me. Yeah? Classmate. Why do you like that sissy shit? Me. Why do you like Hello Kitty? Classmate. Because I'm a girl. Me. Well, I like dogs. Classmate. I just can't believe you like that sissy shit. Scooby-Doo is for fucking babies. Don't be like this fuck up. Cameron looks like a huge jerk with all of his Scooby crap stuff. Quit posting and get a life. Um, hey, Jonathan, I got a life and a business. And I'm doing very well for myself. So I'm going to keep posting and hope you got a life too. Thank you. I, I don't I don't know what to say. I don't know how you can like be cool Scooby-Doo. Honestly, I think it's a disgrace to everything that Hanna-Barbera worked so hard at making an amazing show. I've been a fan for 23 years and have my own collection of Scooby-Doo stuff, but Be Cool makes me cringe and brings my blood to a boil. I've written countless emails trying to get it canceled. I hate it so much and I don't hate anything Scooby-Doo. Who complained to me about it? <laughs> Boo, Scooby-Doo. I mean, this was literally a comment on our first Scooby-Doo video, so I know we were changing things up quite a bit, but, I mean, you've got to think there's a better way of saying it than that. Nikki, you are picky, snarky, snippy, and rude. Oh, can't forget hypocritical either. I'm unfollowing you. Have a great day. Bye. Only Facts says, simply just sell it. Well, Only Facts, you're a bit too late. I just moved it all. Now, I'm stuck with it. Quicker on the draw next time, okay? Save me a lot of work. Are you loaded? How can you afford to live if you spend it all on Scooby-Doo stuff? Budgeting. I bet you a hundred bucks that Cam from Scooby and Cam lives in his parents' basement. No, no, I live in their attic. <laughs> It's 2021, people. They still live with their parents. That's so normal, I guess. I don't know. Thank you. Take your stupid fucking website down. I hate Scooby-Doo. I hate Scooby-Doo. Well, Emily, thank you for checking out my website. Hi there. This is not a tweet. This is a true story. At work a few months ago, one coworker was angry at another. They were yelling. I tried to stop it eventually did and then he looks at me and says and you why do you a 50 year old plus man collect scooby-doo that is crazy that it doesn't make sense at all at least he knows what i'm collecting and it also proves that collecting scooby-doo is ageless you're so creepy looking that was mean <laughs> The dude from Scooby-Doo and Cameron 2 looks like the result of when a giraffe and a seal have a baby. <laughs> Thank you? I...
I'm going to, you know what? I'm just going to take that as a compliment. Thank you, Sadie. I'm going to take that as a very wonderful comment. Scooby Addicts is too famous, too Hollywood to talk. He is a clown. I don't know who you're talking about because I'm a girl.